I just finished pruning this field. So as you can see down the middle, you can, it's still a little bit of crowding, but at the same time, you can see straight through to the other end of the trellis. And from the outside, we can see pretty flat along the wire. Pruned off all back down to pretty much the the first node, which is you know. I'd put it back down to here or like this one I left it on because it was short to begin with. All right, so this is directly after the pruning as some of them are on the top wire and those got tied up. There's always gonna be late season mangoes on some trees. I just kind of work around them and I'll probably go back later after it drops his fruit and yeah. And this side is the unpruned side, what I'll be working on today. As you can see, a lot more, a lot more off the trellis, a lot more rounded canopies trying to form, as opposed to this side now, nice and back and flat. Here's a kit mango that is so... Florida often describes the kit mango as a moderate grower, or even Australia as a moderate grower but man for us in hawaii kids are vigorous growing grow twice as fast as nam dak mai which itself is a slow growing mango here and then i wanted to show the first trellis that i had pruned <coughs> and it's now about uh three four weeks uh three two Two to three weeks since I pruned this guy up. And uh, he's got his new flush. And uh, he pretty much looked exactly the same as, as the trellis that I just showed. The first one that I just had pruned, finished pruning yesterday. It looked the same as far as its flatness after I had done got done with it and you can see it flush pretty heavy flush already and just like that just with that one flush the canopy is right back to nice and green got a lot of new shoots to work with uh, I'm gonna have to come in and do a tipping now and because it's only uh, the beginning of September and uh, it's gonna flush maybe two more times before it goes into that dormancy period. But uh, look, it's even trying to throw out some more flowers on this flush. First flush after pruning and it's already trying to throw out more flowers, but just a little bit. So two to three weeks after pruning, you should get a flush. I'm gonna have to hit it up with fertilizer pretty soon. And um, I'll probably use a foliar spray that I've been using that is a 41040 with micronutrients. Pretty low on nitrogen, especially if you're adding through the foliar feed. You're giving such a light dose that you might have to apply multiple doses. So I just wanted to show that part that the first flush after pruning really gets the tree right back to nearly right back to where it was. That's why it's so important to maintain that pruning because it's going to come right back. And I'm going to have to do it a couple. I'm going to have to now tip a couple more times to just keep the, the branches from getting too long because once they get so long, they're just and then they'll flower and just go straight to the ground. So keeping it short, keeping it close to the tree. And then looking forward to next year's results.